Buses are the most widespread form of public transportation in America, transporting people to work, school, health care, and other destinations in every community in every state. In 2018, the Federal Transit Administration made the largest commitment in its history to support and rebuild bus fleets. Nearly $715 million to modernize buses and bus infrastructure, including new technology buses powered using battery electric systems and hydrogen fuel cells. Recently, FTA announced its third grant award in 2018, approximately $366 million to 107 projects and bus and bus facilities infrastructure investment competitive grants. Before that, we announced $264 million in fiscal year 2017 funding for buses and bus facilities. And we also announced $84.5 million in new technology bus grants. Competitive bus grants meet local needs. They provide funding to help modernize America's bus infrastructure improving bus service, upgrading maintenance facilities that keep fleets safe and reliable, and building transit centers that help travelers connect. Congress created the competitive portion of the bus program as part of the FAST Act in 2015. Close to 1,200 transit bus systems operate in the U.S., with an astonishing 5.3 billion bus trips clocked every year. FTA bus grants spur economic growth by taking people to jobs, stimulating local manufacturing, and creating new development opportunities. While most of our nation's bus systems serve urban areas, many rural communities greatly depend on bus systems that receive support from FTA. In rural America, buses link residents of rural towns to opportunities in job centers. They provide on-demand service to medical appointments, they take tribal residents from reservations to jobs and services, sometimes over long distances. And they offer what sometimes is the only travel option for people who don't own a car or people with disabilities. During any given rush hour, as many as 48,000 buses drive the streets of America. FTA support remains vital to ensure that buses will help meet the transportation needs of the American public for years to come.